okay good morning again everybody we're gonna do a drive this morning February 17th Saturday morning 2024 we are going to take a drive from Coverley the villages at Coverley to Warrens so this area here is the entrance to Coverley, Coverley Christchurch, and by the way it's 8.24 a.m. So we're entering this area and we'll just take a short drive through Coverley or they call it the villages at Coverley and then hit the highway and go to Warrens A very developed area in here you have a gym supermarket food court oh that's closed off so we can't get through there there's a bank lots of parking and this is a very popular spot now all of the residents here um, many of them don't need to leave the villages at Coverley because they have all of these facilities so the, this is the housing area there are many houses out here and to the left is the I don't know if to call it a plaza or complex because there's a gas station supermarket bank it's like a little village self-contained well of course there are no government agencies or facilities in here so they would have to leave for those things so we're leaving it now and heading to the ABC highway to make our way to Warren's under construction as you can see to my right some people refer to this as a retirement village because it's a the houses are relatively small and a few well quite a few people um, downsize they retire and then come into this area there are also some students who live here, who rent here. Some people have it as vacation homes, Barbadians who live overseas. They rent these homes and part-time, short-term, and then they come back during the winter months and come back to sunny Barbados and live in here. So this is how, well, this is the front entrance and exit, and then there's another entrance and exit on the old Coverley side. So we are now joining the ABC Highway. The cars you're seeing here are coming from the airport. is the 
Adams section of the ABC Highway driving from Coverley, the villages at Coverley to Warrens. Chickmont Foods on the right and to the left Southern Heights There's another video that JP and I did that started at this point. We drove out here and joined the highway. That's the Balls area. So if you watch our videos, you'll notice that we've covered this route before. We're just about to approach the Henry Ford roundabout. We spoke a lot about roundabouts in that video as well. We plan to do a video as well showing all of the roundabouts from the airport all the way down to the port sometime in the future. So we just passed the Henry Ford roundabout and we're making our way across the highway to Warrens, Warren St. Michael. Kingsland Christchurch, a very popular area, one of the most heavily populated areas in Christchurch. It falls within the constituency of Christchurch East Central, Kingsland, which is situated just next to Wharton. Very popular area. Because we covered 
this route before we are just passing Huiman, the big hardware store we're going to come off the ABC highway and rejoin it at the Sobers roundabout just to give you a slightly different perspective so the Edwi Talma roundabout you should recall that from a previous video we're turning off we're exiting the highway at this roundabout that's Poeman to the right like to mention for Barbadians living overseas how special it is for them to see because many of them can't get back home for whatever reason so these back roads should bring back some memories So we've just come off the roundabout and headed onto this road that takes you all the way to Sheraton Mall. So ahead of us is the Globe Drive-In. Barbados is one of the few places that you can find a drive-in cinema. Just past, past the driving. This area is called Vauxhall, Vauxhall Christchurch. Mackie sauce on the right there. You can get some really good pudding and sauce on a Saturday. Maybe we'll get some later today. Who knows? So this minibus just stopped there at the bus stop. In Barbados they are known as ZRs because all of them that work the route taxis, they, um, the registrations are ZR, ZR something. So they are commonly known as ZRs in Barbados. So we just exiting Vauxhall and approaching Sheraton Mall you can see the new Promotec building to my right and ahead of us here is the Sheraton Mall or Sheraton Center very very popular spot for the teenagers on a Saturday and any long weekend and especially during school holidays Okay, so the cars driving down here, if I had turned left, would go to Warner's, but we are not going left, we are turning right, and Sheraton Center is to our right. Sergeant's village. This 
car is exiting from Elizabeth Park area because there are two areas in there and this is Sergeant's Village proper So after that detour through Sheraton and Vauxhall and Sergeant's Village, we are about to rejoin the ABC Highway at the Garfield Sobers Roundabout to continue our journey to Warrens. So here we are. This first exit would have taken us back to our point of origin. The second exit exit will take us down Rendezvous Hill and we are now on to the highway again the ABC highway and this section is the Barrow section of the ABC highway and we are approaching Wildy Anyone out there considering Barbados as a vacation destination, look at the orderly conduct of the driving. It's relatively safe. As of course, there are like anywhere else accidents, but as long as you follow the, the signs, you should be okay. Obey the, the, um, the rules. So we're passing here. This is Courtesy Garage on the right. They sell Nissan. And there's a little plaza slash mall. It's called Wildy Mall. But by some standards, it would be just a small plaza. But this is Wildy. And this parish is St. Michael. Straight ahead. We would go all the way down through Wildy and into Cullimo Rock, but that's not our destination because we are continuing along the ABC Highway by going around this traffic diversion. It's a natural, natural direction because you can't turn right at the gas station. We have to go around it. This was done some years ago to alleviate traffic congestion. I'm not sure if it worked. The building right ahead of us, that used to be called the BET building, Cable and Wireless. It's now the American University of Barbados. They operate from there. They do medicine there. Many overseas students live there, work, sorry, study there. And it previously held a division of cable and wireless known as BET. So that became the BET building. And we would have just driven up the BET hill. That's not an official name, but that's what it's known as colloquially. To our left is a development called Parkinson Field. This area here is the Pine. To the right is the CBC radio and television station. There's an overpass there. And to the left, secondary school. Barbados 
Water Authority headquarters to our right. And if you can see that gorgeous view right ahead, far out, one of my favorite views in Barbados, you can see all the way up to Warrens and beyond. The left turn here takes you into St. Barnabas. approach another roundabout is called the JTC Ramsey roundabout or the JTC Ramsey circle but this is perhaps the most famous of all roundabouts in Barbados because it features the right excellent bussa a slave very famous well actually he's a Barbados Barbadian national hero, the right excellent busser. And there's a whole history behind that where he led a rebellion and effected change and was a significant person in the development of Barbados, in the history of Barbados. So that's busser. Some people just call it the busser roundabout. continue along the ABC Highway. This area is called Haggard Hall. We will talk more about Bassa and that the significance of that roundabout when we do the video that focuses exclusively on the roundabouts from the airport down to the port, the seaport. This next no roundabout is called the Norman Niles Roundabout, named for a famous Barbadian, but... Some people just call it the Haggard Hall roundabout. It's a very peculiar phenomenon because many residents and citizens of Barbados don't know the official names of roundabouts. So if you tell the average resident, meet me at Norman, well, they would know Norman Niles, but if you say, well, to meet me at the uh, sober, the um, Sobers roundabout, some people would not know what that is, or the Clyde Walcott roundabout. Um, many people don't know the names of the roundabouts, and that's unfortunate because they are named for individuals who made a significant contribution to the development of Barbados. For example, Henry Ford. Um, I, uh, most people I know don't even know where the Henry roundabout is they just know it as the Chickmont roundabout and this area here driving across the Bell is known by three names the Bell Strip the Bell Street and the Bell Stretch after all these years I don't really know what the correct name is but it's the Bell and I think it's it's called the strip or the stretch or the street, meaning that this is the part of the highway when you drive straight across the bell, because the area is the bell. And if you say the street, people would know what you mean. Uh, Barbadians have a very peculiar way of describing things. And if you hear it, you would know exactly what they mean. It's one of the, the special things about Barbados, the way that they communicate. Um, sometimes you could be insulted in a way that only a Barbadian can insult you. And you may not even recognize that you're being insulted. Very, very clever use of the language. And right ahead of us is the... Clyde Walcott roundabout. You would never know because the name has faded and nobody in authority has taken time to restore it. Clyde Walcott. 
a name that would be recognizable to many sports fans all over the world but no one has taken the time to restore his name there many people know it as the Hothessel roundabout because if you took the exit there it would take you into Hothessel nearly arrived and you can use this video to see how to get from the villages at Coverley to Warrens. A very nice drive for Saturday morning. It's 10 to 9 now on Saturday the 17th of February 2024. nice piece of road here a lot of green good for the eyes good for the soul I just love green it's just something about my childhood uh, where I was born and raised not in Barbados where I come from there's a lot of green and um, you can spend hours just driving through green it restores my soul so this stretch here is I love this stretch here um, heading to Warren's especially if you're heading to the office early in the morning it's a nice way to set your brain before a long day's work and a hard day's work that's the CIBC headquarters that you see ahead there now entered Warrens. I'm going to go around this roundabout to give you a, a nice view of it. This is the Everton Weeks roundabout just across from CIBC it's known as the CIBC roundabout it's branded with CIBC because they probably maintain it and if you were to say to anyone in Barbados meet me at the CIBC roundabout they would surely know what you mean as opposed to telling them to meet them at the Everton Weeks roundabout very very busy area in Barbados a fast growing area it's not designated a town or anything it's it's just Warrens but it's some people say the next town it hasn't been declared a town but it has everything that a town requires to be so designated I don't think there's a magistrate's court or any sort of legal system here but there are government buildings the government towers you can do most things at various places in Warrens including renew your um, driver's license and apply for various facilities in government and we are heading up to the coming section of the ABC Highway. So we exited the Barrow section. approaching Cave Hill so we will 
shortly end this video. Recall we drove from the villages at Coverley to Warrens. And we are now in the outskirts of Warrens. A bit of a grey area because we are going down to Cave Hill. And that view ahead of you is the sea, the beautiful sea. shortly you will be able to have a view of the port you can see a vessel out there the Bridgetown port to the left I hope the video is picking it up the Bridgetown port down there and we can see right ahead of us there's accommodation behind those trees you, you, you find many um, apartments and rentals for students because the University of the West Indies Kefil campus um, is just ahead so this area here should be very very familiar to many of the region's attorneys at law, um, Kefil was traditionally known as the law campus, even though you, you can do the full law degree at Mona and St. Augustine now. Um, any, anywhere out here would have been designated for students, university students more green out here and right ahead is the Kefil campus we'll just pause the video right now while we wait on the traffic lights we're off again the law faculty these are the um, student dorms that's the Worrell Hall so named after Frank Worrell so Frank Worrell that's the Owen Arthur CARICOM Research Center there ahead of us is the Errol Barrow Center for Creative Imagination and we've reached the end of our tour today we're gonna enter the university and thank you for your attention thanks for joining us on this journey and as JP always asks me to remind you all please like and share our video and by all means subscribe to the channel have a good day and see you next time